All right, I'm going to make this really easy. Um, this is what's called a 555 switch. I'm using this in my props this year. Um, took a while to understand what a 555 timer was. Uh, this is basically the time all of your um, props. Right now you're looking at the breadboard and a lot of congestion down here. So. I'm going to kind of tell you exactly what all this, all the connections are, and then you can set it up yourself. So the 555 chip, which is right in the middle, right there, the black chip in the middle, uh, has eight ports. Um, so they're marked one through eight. So I'll run right down what the connections are. Uh, number one, pin one is ground. Pin two is your trigger wire that goes to um, a negative voltage since it needs a dropping voltage in order for it to work I have that connected to a 10k resistor and that 10k resistor is also connected to positive um, pin 3 is your output goes to that LED right there um, I have that connected to um, a 470 uh, resistor and then to the positive end of the LED which is then connected to negative all right, um, pin four and pin five, I don't have any connections. Um, this can be used for other setups with the 555, but with this one shot, um, you don't need them. So, pin six is connected to negative. Uh, let me see here. I'm sorry, pin six, the capacitor that you choose, is connected to negative. Um, so, it's connected to the cap. And then it's going to go to the um, to the negative on your device. The cap I have is 470 UF. Then pin seven. This is your resistor one because you have resistor one and resistor two. Um, resistor one, I use a 1K. It's going to positive. And then uh, resistor two also connects to pin seven, um, which I use 22K, and it goes to pin six. So, um, 7, R1, resistor 1, goes positive, R2, from 7, goes to pin 6. And then, pin 8 has nothing but uh, positive, so you've connected directly to positive for pin 8. Um, let me show you how this works. See, I have a battery. This is a breadboard. I have the battery connected to positive and negative voltage. Uh, if you look right here, that little wire that I'm focusing in on, um, is not really connected to anything right now, but as soon as I touch it to um, negative voltage, it's going to give the 555 a dropping voltage, and it's going to set the timing mechanism. So, just to kind of show you, let's see. So we just move it over to negative, and be careful. I always suggest using a breadboard. Uh, this is my first attempt at the 555. So when I touch it. Of course, I got to connect my battery back since I moved it. The 555 begins its timing, and you can remove. Let me see here. So you can remove that wire, and now the wire is not connected, but the light is still on, so it's in its timing mode. And the way you figure out your timing is the RC constant, um, which you can actually get a calculator. Uh, from online and figure out what you want your resistors uh, your resistor 1 and 2 to be and then to get the correct timing for your and get a capacitor as well so I'll, sh I'll do this one more time this is called a one shot I'm not good at these videos and I'm definitely not good at electronics so any questions I would suggest talking to a professional about thank you